Order number 28. Find the solution. Hmm. Okay. $1,000. $1,000. My engine starts roughly sometimes, even if I drive it every day. Even if I drive it every day. My engine starts roughly sometimes. Roughly is going to be... What's that? Fuel. Uh, ignition. Starts roughly, though. Not runs roughly. Starts roughly. Is there a clue there? Starter motor. Do we have a starter motor on this thing? Ooh. What does that remind me of? A kind of... There's a Kia that looks like that. And a bit like um, a Volkswagen Touran. Kind of reminds me about that. Let's have a look inside. Inspect the engine. Hello? Hello, sir. What's this? V? Dude's got a V. One, two, three. It's a V6. Three cylinders on each side. V6. Whoa, new engine. Scary stuff. Um, okay, well, the obvious thing to check is get the cover off. Obvious thing to check is the ignition. So I'm going to have a look at that. Uh, let's have a look at the ignition cables. Can we just inspect those? Do we have to take them off? No, we have to take them off. Cables 95%. Can we inspect the plugs? Bear in mind there's going to be another set around the other side. 95%. Oh my god, I have to click on the exact pixel and then it zooms in. You have to click just on the very, very tip. The very tip of the spark plug. Just here. <laughs> suppose it beats taking it out though. Um, disassemble. No, disassemble. Stop zooming out. Ignition module, 94%. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Let's put that back. It's not this side. It could be the other side, I suppose. Okay. Let's spin around. Disassemble. Cable. Ignition module. 90%. It's all good here. Spark plug, 95%. 95%. Okay. So, we'll reassemble, please. Thank you. So, that means it's not the electric necessarily. Uh, start. It can't be the engine oil because it wouldn't start properly. That would be a simple case of not running. Um, it's all to do with starting. It could be fuel. It could be fuel related. It could be air related. Let's check the intake. Uh, how do we get this thing off again? Here. 95% for the airflow. Ninety-five percent for the airflow. Everything's looking absolutely. Do you know what'd be nice is if the if sometimes the cars were a bit old and dirty and rusty and stuff. You know, ninety-five percent filter, zero percent, zero percent on the air filter. What does that mean? How the hell can his engine actually run? Okay, well let's get my new air filter. See if that sorts it out. The next thing I was going to check was the fuel, then I was going to check the timing or something, but... We're getting a thousand dollars, this can't be right. Uh, there must be something else wrong with the car, but we'll whack this in and then see what he thinks of it. 100% uh, air filter. Get the poppy cover back on there. Filter cover. So, next place to check is going to be the fuel, I think. Uh, actually, can we just have a quick look if he's... Oh my god! Oh my god, the dude just gave us a thousand dollars to replace his air filter! <gasps> Would a garage even do this? Seriously? I couldn't... Could you? Let's sell that thing, air filter. Oh my god, can we not just tell the guy it was only his air filter? We can't charge him like $1,000 for that. That's ridiculous. I feel like a crook.
There's nowhere to say. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. Give him a $900 refund. It's like five minutes and... Oh. oh well. That's Car Mechanic Simulator. Order 29. Examine shock absorbers and springs. Another thousand dollars. I bought myself a new car but the ride is very hard. I'm not sure if it is something wrong with the suspension or if it's meant to be like this. Well, it's reasonably sporty. So you can expect a firm suspension, I would have thought. Is it going to show us anything particularly wrong with the car? No. Can't see anything wrong with it. Shock, absorber, and spring. Okay, let's pop this thing up. Let's have a look see. Shock, absorbers, and springs. Okay, I think I'm going to check the bushing. 95%. A bushing. Actually, do we just want to check the rear? Oh, I'm going to have to get up there, aren't I? The shocks are up there. What am I doing? I'm down on the suspension arms. I mean, in theory... Can we examine that? I'm going to examine that while I'm here, you know. I'm not trusting this game. It's misleading. Let's put you... Whoops. Did I just unscrew it? <laughs> Let's put his bushing back. While I'm here, I am going to check this because, like I say, I don't trust this game very much. So I'm going to have a quick look at that bushing, which is probably fine. It's very noisy outside. I think my next garage I'm going to get... I meant in the game, by the way. The next garage I'm going to get is going to be in the countryside somewhere. We'll just check that one. Swing around here and check this one. Oh, you camera! 95%, it's not that. Let's examine. No, we can't examine. Yes, we can. Suspension arm. It's 95. 95. Okay, alright. So that was two minutes wasted, but, you know. At least we know. Let's try shocks now. Let's get around. Try and convince the camera to let me... Oh, I can't go this way. I have to take the wheel off. <gasps> oh, the game. Wheel off. Spin the camera around up here. Let's check the suspension arm... Take you to the sway bar. Sway bar, 95%. Pop that off. That's on 95. That's on 17. We have found a problem. We have found a problem. That's good. But unfortunately, we have to check all of them because we don't know how many are wrong. Let's get down to the sway bar. And... Come on. Camera, please. Thank you. Four bolts. Pop that off. 95%. 7%. Both of his front shocks, both of his springs are absolutely screwed. He just bought this car. What the hell did the previous owner do to this car to get the springs into 7%? That's pretty scary stuff. Ooh, now. I've not taken the rear shock off before. That's interesting. Do we not do it this way? Okay. Before I take the other wheel off, <clears throat> I'm going to pop this thing up. How do we take the rear shock off on this game? Whee! Spin around here. We can examine it. No, we can't. Does it come... Does that come off first, maybe? How do we do this? Suspension arm. That's got to come off in order to get that off, surely. Or do we come in from the top? 
Did we come in from the top? Possibly. Seems a bit wrong. No. Let me just go back. Surely it's this way. Maybe we just... Oh, God. How much disassembling do we, do we need to do to get to the spring? Can we just examine it? No. I actually don't know how to get this thing off. That arm's got to come off. That's for sure. The question is... Is... This is what this game does. It kind of introduces you to a new thing now and again. And then you have to work out how you do it. Now, if we look at it, we can see those two bolts there, which presumably need to come off. But is there anything coming in from the drive, from the wheel? There must be, surely. Suspension arm. Oh, please don't make you take the exhaust off. Is that the deal here? Do we have to take the exhaust off to do this? Just to get at that arm. Wow, the last job was a thousand dollars. Five minutes work. But then it makes up for it. Yeah, hey, look at that, you do too. Bloody hell. This one, a thousand dollars. We've got to take his car to bits. This better be broken. 20%. Good. Right, what's that one there? Shocks. Let's check his shock as well. Interesting that the back is very, very different to disassemble. That's 95, so that's okay. But can we get this one off now? There's three parts on the menu. Ninety-five percent. Right, I think that's all the pieces. Let's have a look at what we got here. Um, broken. Right, suspension spring front, suspension spring rear, suspension spring front, suspension spring rear. Right. So basically, four springs: two front, two rear. Everything else is fine. Let's have a look on eBay. Ah. <laughs> Suspension, suspension. No springs. We don't sell springs on eBay. At all. Surely a breaker's yard would have them. You know, you get rear-ended in the car, your front suspension's fine. So you sell all the pieces to a breaker's yard. That's how this thing works. That's how it's meant to work. All my life, look at this. $240. I get a discount. Hang on a minute. $480 plus $300, $780. I'm going to... Uh, Master of Commerce, discount in the car shops. Let's get one of those. So now we're getting 8% discount. I'm not going to risk any more, though. Not just yet. Uh, and we'll need two of these. Look, I get it for 220 now. So that's 220 that's 440 Plus another 140 is 580, is that? 580, 720 we got all that for, I think. My mental math was up to that. Probably wrong. Um, right, let's put it back on. Actually, let's sell the parts we don't need, because I don't... No, 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 no. Let's sell the parts we don't need. We don't need that. We don't need that. Plus, we get some money back from this, so that's kind of cool. Look, we just got the best part of $100. Well, say about 80 or 90 back. So that helps. That helps, and every little helps. As Tesco like to say. Let's put that on first. Uh, shock absorber rear. Suspension spring. Brand new spring, sir. Suspension arm. And we learnt something. We learnt how to t disassemble this side of the car. She's always good. Look at the bolts down there just hovering over the menu. Spring. Suspension arm rear. It's annoying the way you have to take the exhaust off to do it though. <laughs> I mean it makes sense. It must drive mechanics up the wall every time somebody comes in and goes, Oh, could you just replace my uh, rear suspension spring? They're like, dude, I have to take the exhaust off. Are you kidding me? And then you wonder why you get these massive bills back from the garage. It took the guy four hours to get to the part that you want to replace. There's probably some truth in all of this, you know. Anyway. Uh, 
Here I am forgetting that on the front you come in from the top. Completely different. Okay. No, we're coming from the wheel. <laughs> Learning. The monkey learn. Front spring. Four bolts. Come on. Get that little ratchet going. The all important sway bar. And then we probably should put his wheel back on. Because, you know, his car's going to ride better with that. I think. I think suspension would be the least of his problems if we didn't put a wheel back on. Uh, on this side. And try and convince the camera to go where I want it. Let's put that on. Let's put that on. Some bolts. Sway bar. We've still got a rear wheel to put on yet. Which I took off while I was still working out what to do. His wheels are so shiny. Look at that. Like the inside was super shiny. Which is just never going to happen unless you just just cleaned your car and then pushed it down here without braking so you got no brake dust or dirt or anything I think that's all the pieces I think let me just double check my inventory yep that should be it and it is a couple of hundred dollars profit not as good as last time but it feels like a real job order 30 find the solution oh god six hundred dollars I haven't driven my car for two months and it won't start anymore Okay. Well, that's not a good idea, is it? But the obvious gambit here is the battery. Because if you haven't driven your car for two months, you've probably got a flat battery. Interestingly, how did you get it down here? That looks like really, really rusty battery to me. 3%. Yeah. Well, let's just swap that out. I mean, $600 for a battery is absurd, but we'll see. I'm going to get him a new one. I'm going to be nice about this. Not going to give him a recharged battery. Three hundred dollars? You're kidding me. Hang on, let me sell his old one. Let's get rid of that. Nine dollars for the old one. So, assembly. Pop the battery back in. Anything else? Whoops. Anything else wrong with this? No. Well, there you go. That was just a, an exercise in duh. <laughs> Six hundred easy money dollars.